Right, what I've done is I've taken a doily, cut the middle out, slotted it over, um, and then glued the front doily, of the front of the doily down here, the first scallop, swung it round and put the two scallops on there at the back, and then made these into kind of like sleeves. And I like that. And I am making this up as I go along. <laughs> but hey, I might even pinch that down a bit more. I'm not sure yet. We're going to leave them loose for now. Now I'm going to... No, I'm not sure. So what I've got to do now is to concentrate on the back because I took the cape off. And it left marks where the cape was. So I'm going to have to sort this out, which I'm going to put a new, like a peplum piece on there. So I'm just going to lift that up because I might need to stick it underneath. And this is like a lace jacket. I've got plenty of sheets of that. So I'm just going to flip that lid back on there in a minute. And stand it up there. Uh, how long do I want this? I want to do like a bushel, so I'm just going to cut this in half. Just do it in half, that should give me enough for what I need to do. sure you can see good thing about this camera thing that I've got now is uh, it's like a, a metal arm and it's got a ball joint on so I can move the camera in different um, angles <coughs> which is good so I'm just going to wet this Let's see. I need to do this, you see, with it. So I need to get that on there and then ruche this. Ruche this up. Okay. So I'm going to pleat this at the back from like that. Just put a pleat in it and then pleat this like that. We just move that back up there. So I hope you can see this. So just get each one. And the piece you're not going to see is the pulling like that. So you're not going to see that, just pull that in.
that's the bit with the glue on where I joined it, but we'll get that right. Tighten all that down. And then we're going to push that open like that. See, I, I haven't let it dry properly. Never mind, because we're putting some tails on it so it'll, it'll be fine. And open it up slightly. Take the dress, lift that up, and we're going to put the first bushel on. Like that. And then we're going to pin that down. Oops. And then we do the same thing with this side. Right now, I'm going to do the ruffle that goes down the middle and the back of it, of the skirt, and then have attached um, those, sorry, I've attached these two and I'm going to do the ruffle that goes down the middle and then the ruffle that goes round the edge. Uh, so all I need to do is just to pleat it. Like that like a concertina <coughs> and then what I'm going to do is if I can get it to go I need to gather it all up start from the beginning fee to the end pleat uh, fold it fold that do so much at once, fold it, fold that, again fold that. I hope that um, you ladies, or some of you at least, try this, something like this. Now we're just going to lift her down and then this piece sits right down the middle that's joined the two pieces together like that and I can continue going round there now. I mean she's not perfectly at the back but that's fine. That's got a little ruffle going there. So I'm just going to take the next piece. Now this pattern goes a certain way, so we're going to have this dropping down. Fold it down. I just find it easier to do it like an inch at a time or something like that. Like that, and just fold that down. And just let that dry. All right, let's bring the dress down. And I'm just going to work on the first one. 
and all I do is I'm going to run it across the top because that's the bit that's going to stick on here that um, no that way fee never mind we'll do, I'll fill that in see like that and that runs around the edge now that's this will do that one Right, so I've done some more, and I'm just going to finish this section. And I'm quite happy with that and that coming over there. I'm not worried about any of these bits and pieces here because that was my fault and we can put that right. So. See, I was going to do the whole topping uh, paper as well, but to be honest, I love this. I love what's happening here. So, yeah. Just love how that's laying. I'll pull that down there. Which of course will hide that bit. There. That's fine, I'm happy with that. I just think we can hold this down here a bit. I'm going to take these off. Yeah, I know you're saying, what? What? But I'm, I'm just going to take them off. It's not what I'm, uh, what I want. But that's the whole point of crafting. You can change things as you go along. Now, pull it inwards. Just be careful taking them off. Right, I've now done the ruche. I've changed it because I had it that colour, but I decided to do this colour for the front of the dress. Um, uh, and I didn't have enough of that anyway, so I, it had to be done. But I've taken the flowers off the front here, which I think now I will add back on. And I think I'm going to put that one in the middle. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to hang something from there. What's what you're going to do for you? Right, 
there we go and that's there now I'm just going to get a little bit of my tassel trim now I've got these ready made ones oh no not those No, I'm stuck between this and that. I'm stuck between that. I love that. And I think the colours blend in well. I'm going to go for it. I will probably regret it. Probably. Maybe, maybe not. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> So you want class? Oh bloody hell! Oh, what's this one? No. What a decision to make! I'm going to have to undo some of this. I think. I think what's putting me off this one is it's too bulky. So just let me sort myself out. Now I like that, and it's now that's going. So and I've ended up with saving some, so that'll do me. I'm gonna do it. It's uh, it's how it is. <laughs> yeah, I just love that. I love the colours in it. A kick off, and then what I'm going to do is pop that on there like that. Yeah, so this is what we've got so far. Oh, let me stand up a minute. Oh, I hope you can see this. Like that. And I just think that's gorgeous. So I'm going to come back for part three.